winter webs. Wow, that was a little bit extreme. Oh well, I don't care. So my summer has been pretty interesting. My family and I, we went on vacation, which we haven't done for a long time. And we went to Florida, where we, we went to Universal. <laughs> uh, breathe. Breathe. You'll get to that later. First off, I need to talk about the stuff that we did that is not going to get me to go into a fangirl squealing rage. We took a plane down, but our flight was delayed for five hours. Thankfully, the terminal that's in my town is really close to our house, like not even 20 minutes. And my parents had gotten one of those text alerts and we were able to sit and wait for the time when our flight was ready in the comfort of our own home. Of course, we still had to get there two hours early. It is now 9.30 and our flight isn't scheduled to be here till almost 11. So we didn't actually end up getting into Florida till about 4 a.m. Yeah, so first day in Florida, we just kind of chilled once we got to our hotel. And the hotel that we stayed in for the week was amazing. When we got there, they were able to switch up our reservations a little bit so we could check in and just chill in a room. So that was super nice of them. And the best part about this hotel, it was right outside Universal property. So it literally took us about 10 minutes to get to the park. So if you're looking to save money going to Universal, I highly recommend finding a, finding a hotel just outside the Universal lot property. They are way cheaper than anything inside the park. Next day, we go to Universal. Well, we mostly explored like the biggest parts of the park. First of all, um, we what did we do the first day? I can't remember anything! Ugh, I wrote it down though, hold on. What? I'm trying to find my journal. Okay, found my journal. We're gonna put all the info about the park. All right, so, uh, the first thing we went to after the big reason why we went, <laughs> later, we will get to it later, um, we went to Sinbad's Eighth Voyage, which is a stunt show. It was actually really fun. The set, first of all, was absolutely gorgeous. Oh my god. They had a fun little pre-show where they had volunteers from the audience come up and kind of shortly enact the story of the show. And then we got into the main show itself. Sinbad was, of course, suave and... Uh, Debonair. The comic relief was fantastic. The best part about this stunt show was everybody got their own like choreographed stunt fight scene. It was amazing. Of course Sinbad got his routine. The comic relief fight was hilarious as well as just really great stunt choreography and the ladies stunt choreography was absolutely stunning. Like watching it wanted me wanted uh, bleh, words are hard. Watching this girl, these girls' stunt performances made me want to get back in shape. All around, good show. Then for lunch, we went to Jurassic Park. The inside of the museum was amazing. There were all these interactive exhibits, and it's very much styled like the first movie was. There was a lab there and we got to see a little baby raptor hatch. It was so cute. Sorry. A little bit more, my friend. Oh my god. Oh, there she is. Say little to the world, little dino. Oh, she's beautiful. <laughs> Pretty spectacular, huh? Yeah. Beautiful. You're seeing something that hasn't occurred naturally for about 80 million years. 
They do mature rapidly, become an adult in just about a year, but they must still be cared for because they're big enough to join the rest of the pack. Matter of fact, that's our greatest challenge here. Introduce them quickly to the Raptors, but not before they have to hold their own. Anyway, at least this gal's got to a good start. Uh -huh, yeah. And uh, speaking of good starts, it's become sort of a tradition, whenever we're hatching, to give our guests the first crack at dating her. Full props to the actors who have to deal face first with the audience for like a good portion of these rides. It's, they're, they were amazing. And they stayed in character really well. They even let like one of the girls in there name it. It was so cute. After that, we went to the Beetlejuice Graveyard Review, which was, it was a fun show, you know? It was like very dancey and all that fun stuff. It was, it was basically like a 20 minute concert is what it was, but it was still really fun. And the guy they got for Beetlejuice, one of the best Michael Keaton impressions ever. Tell them the respect for the dead. How you doing, Universal? You want the party? Say, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, say, oh yeah. Oh yeah. You want to take the beat? Say, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, like type service, like you, like very much appreciate that. That person being all you know. Just help me find a pretty girl, will you? Hey, what? What? What I say? What? Nah, you're beautiful. Wait, let's go look at you. Turn around, come on. Nice. What's your name, baby? Typical, very punny jokes. But all in all, it was it was a fun time. And a really nice break from the heat. Florida weather, what'd you expect? Then, on our first day there, we caught the end of the Blues Brothers uh, show. And then, our second day there, we caught the full Blues Brothers show. And it is really fun. And I give these guys props for performing all of this in suits. In like full three-piece suits. And the singers were amazing. And then the sax player was awesome. My sister is a huge fan of the Blues Brothers and she had a great time. We went to this uh, makeup horror show where first off, the lobby, while you're waiting for the show, is just decked out with stuff. Um, there's all these um, makeup in there um, from the, like, the very early beginnings of film. It was very cool. It's still amazing to me that the exaggerated features are essentially just latex and cotton balls. And then of course the classic. And then they had some uh, more newer makeups. Ooh. I love that they have like the majority of the Hellboy makeup on here. ran into an old buddy. All right, you. Yeah. Not a big fan of the Child's Play films. Not a fan. But you know, we we made amends. We we talked out our differences. I know we've had our differences, but um, I've come to accept you, you know? I've come to be not so terrified of you. It's 
swear to God, if you pull something right now. <laughs> anyway, we got inside, and the set, it literally looked like a makeup artist's mad lab. It was so cool looking. One of the, the makeup artists that was there, he ran out with this fantastic chest piece where it had like a wooden stake sticking out of his chest and he runs around and then he like comes up to me and it's like grab my hand, grab my hand, give me your hand. And so I go up and I grab his hand and he then he goes, I need mouth to mouth. And I just am like, no thank you. And so I just, I let go and I sit back in my seat and then he gets up and starts ragging on me for it. <laughs> It was so funny. It was it was very fun. And when they're showing off like this fake heart, which he he had filled with water, he was like squirting it around the front row, and then he really got into squirting me. And he's like, "Karma's a bitch, isn't it?" <laughs> it was very fun. And you know what? I welcomed it. I welcomed the water. It was so hot outside. And then we we caught the parade that they had, but. Universal, guys, work on your parade, honey. This was not even a parade, okay? It was like an exhibition. There were only four floats. They had uh, the Easter movie, Hop, I think was the name of it. Um, they had Dora. Uh, they had SpongeBob. And of course, they had Minions. Minions, Minions, Minions. I swear, Minions are taking over the world. It's crazy. That was mostly it for Universal. I'm recording this while I'm editing because I forgot to mention the E.T. ride. You guys, it is so much fun. It's so cool too. It's just this, it's also a really nice slow ride if you just want to take a little break but you don't want to have to try and find a restaurant to sit in. We underestimated it at first, but it's seriously fun. E.T. ride, check it out. There's of course the one big thing. <laughs> No, no, talk about the rest of your vacation. We went to the World of Chocolate Museum and it was amazing. It was so much fun. Um, they had like a legitimate museum in there where you learned like about the history of chocolate, like how they make chocolate. Um, like I finally learned how to pronounce cacao bean. I always thought it was cocoa, cacao or I couldn't pronounce cacao to save my life, and now I can, and it's awesome. I found out what exactly white chocolate is, which is amazing. Um, and the best part of this whole tour, they had like little bits of the chocolate that they sell in the cafe. They had some we could try, and oh my gosh, the majority of it was so good. There were a bunch that I really liked, but these were my overall favorites. It was so good. And um, we actually ended up getting like a box of chocolates that, and the chocolates were so cute. I almost didn't want to eat them. They looked so beautiful. They were like little chocolate works of art. It was so cute. I almost didn't eat them, but I did. And they didn't have just chocolate there. It was like, it was literally a cafe of sweets. Um, so they had macaroons and um, they, they had a whole bunch of other stuff there. It was very fun. After that, we found a cool little mini golf course. It's like a tradition in my family that anytime we go on vacation, like out of state, we always go mini golfing. We find like a little mini golf course there and we buy around and we have fun. And the theme of this one was a uh, pirate, and it was very fun. And I scored a hole in one. You just got a hole in one. The best part was uh, they had 
uh, they have this special where uh, they have certain holes where you score you score a hole in one, you get a coin. You get this little souvenir coin. It's so cute. Like look at it. It's adorable. Please focus. I hope you can focus. I hope you can see it. And um, the best part is this little coin right here. Um, it's good for one free game at the park or at the courts whatever but the only problem is I don't know if I'm going back anytime soon and I don't know if these have an expiration date or not so I might just keep it I think I'm gonna keep it it's so cute <laughs> and then while we were chilling in the hotel we we had fun you know in the pool and everything <laughs> Are you recording? Your feet are on the bottom. I'm gonna bring my leg like this under my body. <laughs> no, I was recording. But first. I was recording her tricks, smart one. <laughs> it wasn't really a trick, it was just the music. Okay, everyone do a trick. <laughs> Sam. <laughs> All right, I gotta prepare for this one, so. short preview of part two.